been a while. I know this. I'm not even gonna, you know, harp on it too much because we're all aware. But I am back. Obviously, if you read the title of this video, back with some very important, significant news, which is that I am leaving Harvard for a semester, but I'm still leaving, getting out for the next four months. And I'm here to kind of talk about, not only to like announce that, like a mini life update, but kind of just talk about like how we got to this point, what I see for the future, and just check in because, you know, I haven't been doing much of that. So, let's just get into it. Filming this video has been a very, like there's been, just to even get to this spot of me sitting down talking to the camera has been much harder than it needed to be because I originally wanted to be like in this cute office space. I reserved a room, found out I couldn't actually go in the room. I tried to go into different houses and there I couldn't get in. So I'm like, okay, we're just gonna go outside. The traffic, like there's gonna be people going, up. there's gonna be noises, but I'm trying to project so that y'all can still hear me. It's been, it's been a journey to get to this point and I'm sitting here in 90 something degree Boston heat because it's so important to me to connect with you. So getting into the whole thing, mini intro if you don't know who I am. My name's Christian. I am now a rising junior at Harvard. I study theater, dance, and media and African American studies. And I am leaving Harvard for the fall semester to study abroad in Accra, Ghana. I'm going to be studying at NYU Accra for the next four months and I am so excited to be able to say that because these past two years of my college experience have been nothing like what I expected in mostly mostly not positive ways to be completely honest like i was gonna say like in some good some bad ways but to be honest mostly not in the best of ways oh my god my, comp my computer's about to die so i'm gonna go super fast but i am excited for these next two because i think that the transformation and the things that i went through these past two years are preparing me to go into the future too something that i am kind of sad that i wasn't I'm kind of sad that I wasn't in the best mental space to truly be on YouTube the way that I had always hoped I would be in my college experience. But the great thing is that I definitely still have two years left and so I plan to share my experiences and share things that I'm going through, not only to you know, maybe help somebody else or to tell you all what's going on or to share, you know, provide some sort of insight into my current life stage as a Harvard student. But also for myself, I find that it's really helpful to be able to look back on where I've came from and like the, the just the things that I've done and remind myself of like, oh, I was really excited about this or oh, that was a lot of fun because those things are really great motivators for when you're feeling low so i would highly recommend anyone no matter if you're going to post it publicly or not to just document your life journal take photos make video diaries because even me looking back at my old youtube videos looking back at videos that i recorded and never uploaded because i have a ton of those from my freshman year it's really like heartwarming to see the growth to see where i've come and to especially see the responses from you all from the videos that i have posted of how things have been helpful to you how i've inspired you even meeting i've met some subscribers in real life over the past two years on campus and that's been super crazy because i'm like i haven't posted a video in five months how do you even know who i am and so all of that is something that's really really special to me i definitely don't take it for granted and i think that now that i you know have taken the leap to you know take some agency take some control over my life and um leave a space where i didn't quite feel my best to be completely honest i'm excited to document that and to showcase that because i think that that's something that you know pivoting when things aren't quite going the way that you thought they would be isn't something that's as like talked about especially like in the ivy league college space or college in general like i think college is positioned as you know the best four years of your life but these past two years you know doing college in a pandemic hasn't been the best <laughs> the best but there definitely have been beautiful moments beautiful people beautiful communities that i have sought out to create i learned that through watching another former alums youtube video it's like is harvard worth it i'll tag it in the 
sub the description lord i haven't been on here so long i don't even remember the names and stuff i'll put it in the description box but i was watching that video my sophomore fall and hearing her tell me a lot of things that reflected my own experiences here not only made me more aware of like that I'm not alone, but also made me realize that like I still have two years and I, I'm going to do everything in my power to prioritize myself, prioritize my peace, prioritize my happiness, and set myself up to have a much more fulfilling and whole, you know, time at this college and one of the ways that I'm doing that is by studying abroad and leaving because I need I just need a break. I need a break. I need some time to go away, to reset, and to come back feeling hopefully empowered and energized and ready to conquer the remainder of my college career. So I know there probably are tons of questions about, you know, Harvard College, study abroad, like what exactly, like, like, like hey girl, glad you updated us, but like what's, you know, where have you been for two years? I get it. I totally get it. So I'm definitely going to, I'm back. I really am this time. Like, I promise I am going to be back. I'm going to just be talking and sharing what's going on, giving advice, giving, not really advice, but more so like my experiences and things I would recommend, which I guess is advice, I don't know. And just giving updates on things that are happening because I realized that like, it's so easy to be like, oh, nobody cares, nobody, like, who am I to share my story or who am I to talk about the highs and lows of college this far and stuff, like, who cares? And I've realized that, like, some people do care. Like, there is at least one person who does care. And I intend to not only speak to that person, but like I said before, like, the beauty of documenting and having those, those memories and videos to look back on for myself is something that I am sad I don't have for my first two years. So I'm excited to be able to do that for the future. So... Yeah, that's kind of what's going on. <sighs> this is like my seventh time trying to film this outro on my phone because my camera died. People keep walking past. It's like 90 something degrees outside. There's just, it's, it's like I'm getting to my final straw, you know? I'm getting to that point. But to keep this outro super short and sweet, I'm leaving for a semester. I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy to be back on YouTube. I'm really grateful for people who have watched my videos even throughout these two years, who have supported, liked, commented, subscribed, all that good jazz. I am feeling pretty hopeful for the future and I'm just excited to like be getting back in my creative bag because I think I haven't really left it fully, but as far as YouTube, I definitely, you know, <laughs> threw that over the boat and let it sink to the bottom of the ocean so i'm glad to you know pick that back up and be back on here um can't say when the next video will be but hey it's gonna be coming soon if you have any questions you just want to say something you know comment that down below video suggestions comment that down below because I'm very rusty. I kind of feel like a grandma right now holding my phone outside talking to myself. But all that being said, I'm leaving. We happy about it. I'm feeling pretty good. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.